Welcome to another Wombat VR aircraft review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hughes XF-11 by the developer Flying Fries, or redesignated to the XR-11 in 1948. This was a prototype military aircraft designed and flown by Howard Hughes and built by the Hughes Aircraft Company for the United States Army Air Force. There's a lot more great history about the aircraft. As example, when Howard Hughes crashed the aircraft on its maiden voyage. But we're not here for that, so let's jump in. Okay, welcome everyone. We're in the cockpit now of the XF-11. Here we go. Wombat Omega review of this fantastic and beautiful looking aircraft. So, yes, it is outside the realms of the Wombat's uh, normal reviews. We're a bit bigger, we're a twin engine, we're a bit speedier as well. And uh, I just thought it would be an awesome aircraft in VR. So let's continue and start. Well, let's start the review of this aircraft. So the Wombat always absolutely loves windows. So let's start with this unbelievable canopy. Can you see this canopy? Now, we always talk about things in the way of your view when it comes to the canopy. There is nothing. There's a double layer in the middle but it's still clear. This is perfection for an aircraft of this vintage. Have a look all the way back around, but we go up. We don't have anything either way, guys. This is brilliant. Tick, 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 tick. Wombat, what, what, an, what, what a VR platform this is. Sitting here, you have it all. We don't have a window at the bottom. <laughs> but also you can poke your head out the front down the bottom and we'll have a look around that. Now this aircraft is probably the only one I will go and have a full tour inside because it does add to the VR experience. You can interact with everything, everything, nearly everything anyway. So let's start uh, with the window. Tick, 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 tick. Instrument panel. Well, we're all old school steam gauges here, ladies and gentlemen, but I like it. Like, I the there is a negative and, a, and and there straight away we're compared to in your or the aircraft we've been reviewing so far for vr is with vr the color coding of temperatures and so forth uh is quite is, is very good um and helps with vr especially with vision when it comes to small numbers and that like we can all zoom in not a problem by doing this or obviously using our mouse cursor that helps but Easy to read for me, fantastic. Older VR headsets may be an issue. No color coding, bit of a cross there for me. Over here, switches and so forth are quite small. Yes, like I always say, fantastic that uh, Microsoft has the pop-out menu. Again, yes, we can move down if we need to uh, and zoom in. That's not an issue, we can do that. But again, once you get used to it, you'll be, you'll be fine. It's not overwhelming. Get us started in a minute. So a bit of a mixed bag there with the steam gauges, good enough. Well, especially newer headsets are gonna be fine with the numbers and so forth. Older ones struggling, would be nice to have some color coding. Again, it's the aircraft, we don't have it, uh, but that's okay. We've got the canopy that's <laughs> keeping us there. Detail outside, let's have a quick look around before we start her up. Absolutely beautiful. Just having a general look around from left to right, having these massive engines props oh my god it's awesome you wait till we start this baby up she is beautiful start her up she purrs she oh yeah it's it's fantastic the immersion vr wise when we start her up and start going is beautiful but i have an issue we look at the wing now on your left compare this to some of the aircraft i have looked at so far in vr the detail on the wing here even over the engine calling it's not that good you look at the rivets to me it doesn't look real so that's a big cross in my book generally when you're just having a bit of a quick pan it's fine but someone like me in vr i like the detail and that's the one meter needs that to get a good rating or a higher rating but obviously canopy and other sounds and, and the interaction inside is going to probably give us a positive but have a look so i can see there inside though have a look around the canopy the details there Bump mapping, textures, everything's beautiful. Like I can, at first when I got into this aircraft, when I first purchased it, I didn't like the inside, but now I've had a really good play inside and have a look around. I actually am quite impressed with everything there. So if they're rivets, I'm not sure 100%, but 
those black rivets around there. We've got some wear and tear, which the Wombat loves. Even above that lamp, wear and tear, brilliant. That vent or heat or radio or speaker, whatever that is in front of me right now, is I love the wear and tear. That's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But just have a look here. You can get a nice zoom in here, guys. And we are brilliant. So beautiful. Now, we have this. So again, a big tick here. Vintage, no tablet, nothing like that. It's a nice clipboard, suits the aircraft, brilliant. Now, these tabs, I have issues in VR, don't function well. It could be just me, but out of VR, they function fine. But a big tick I have in this checklist here is there's a tab that allows me to turn the windows on dirty or clean, dirty or clean. Brilliant. That's what we should have on every single aircraft for VR, not even for VR. I know a few people out there that hate aircraft when they get them and they aren't able to have a clean window, especially aircraft with a canopy like this. You want a clean window, all right? You don't want scratches in your window. You want to go out and enjoy the view in VR. All right, let's start her up and continue on. Once we're started up, we're going to have a quick tour inside before we take off, go for a quick flight, and we will then come back here. Now, this, this review will be a bit longer than my normal ones just because the aircraft is huge. There's a lot to see. So let's get her all started. Again, I don't follow procedures here. It's all about how this aircraft complements your VR experience. So I'm not showing you how to start her up and everything. We're just going to get her going, go around and, and uh, have a bit of a play. Hopefully I remember how to start her up. So again, once you memorize most of this, you'll be fine. You don't need to worry about the small riding. You can obviously zoom in with VR so it's not an issue or put your head down if you have it set up to do so. Okay, we've got that. We've got props. We've got propel here. And we've got mixture up. Beautiful at the top there. Uh, we'll throw on our strobes now, won't we? If they're, they're not the strobes, I think it's this one. And we'll prime up our left engine, but watch this, this is brilliant. Beautiful. Beautiful! Absolutely love the smoke coming out of the engine on the first startup. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get the other one going. And that just sounds phenomenal. You've got to be here right now. If you haven't got a, a headset, just let it go get one. Uh, I know some people don't like them, but bloody hell. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Yeah, baby! Ho, ho, ho. That, I feel like I'm here. And look at that. Wow. All right. We're going to stop here. We're going to quickly go for a tour. Let's get rid of this clipboard. You guys are in for a treat. All right. Not going to touch probably. Put us put all the lights on here. Oh, don't forget later, because the Wombat forgets all this stuff. We've got to put uh, some generators on. Uh, and we'll go down below and have a look around. We've got autopilot over here. We've got everything. It's actually a very nice aircraft. Everything's set out very... Actually, it's, it is very easily set out for VR. Having another think about it. I actually don't mind it. I haven't flown it many times, but already I'm sort of going bang, bang, bang. Two, I want to go and have a look at two. Let's go. Yeah. All right, you're not going to be able to see behind me. All right, we're going to come down here. All right, got some high voltage. So why not on top of high voltage put some coffee? But we can have it. Listen, listen. Might still hear it. He actually has a sip of the coffee. Can you believe it? <laughs> love it. I love this. See you in Vegas. Love the detail. Uh, and then we've got some more, I guess, instrumentation, steam gauges. We've got the dude. This is our co-pilot, I think. But anyway, let's get in front of him. You can take him out if you want. Guess what? Anybody hungry? <laughs> can you believe you can actually eat them? Uh, this is just bizarre, but I love it. I love it. And again, you want to you want to actually come down here and fly it for you? You know what? You can. Uh, but I think that's just brilliant having all those little interactions. You can actually turn all the lights on here, so you got lights here and everything. So brilliant. Let's reverse, let's reverse up here. All right, interaction I said, a simple, we're in the back seat now, right? I haven't got it down because when we put it down, a, a, another passenger comes on. But look, we can interact with the hat. Brilliant, we've got all this film equipment. Now these work, lights turn on. This is brilliant, like come on. Developer mate, you've done excellent. This will actually give you one up over those textures on the wings but I'm sure they'll come. We've got the, whatever, recorder, movie studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've got power for the headphones. We've got headsets down here. We've got small gauges. 
We got map. Oh, anyone? Anyone want a drink? You know, everyone knows uh, the one that doesn't mind a glass of wine. And, you know, come over here. I'm not a white fan, but it's white. But here we go. We got wine. Want some bread? You know, grab out some cheese. Have a sanger. Everything's interactable. Look, look, look. We should be sitting up a bit higher out the back here. Hey, but there is a seat underneath me, and I'll put that on. But check this out. And again, look at the quality. I come down to this table, this wood grain table. It looks real, guys. It's phenomenal. Like again, look at it, those. Out, the, out there looking at rivets, it's not on. When the inside is so good, so much effort. Oh, I forgot the axe as well. <laughs> I told you, everything's interactable. There's probably a whole lot of stuff that I haven't even tried yet, but this is just brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. So let's go back and let's get up in the air, all right? So that's the wombat getting overly excited. Now, I always sit higher, as I tell everyone, a bit forward, because I don't want to put my head through the chair when I go there. The only issue here is you can't see behind the chair. The chair's too high, but it's comfy. Howard Hughes wanted to be comfy. All right, so the XF11 Hughesy done a good job. All right, come down here and we can actually put this up. Let's go. There we go. So you've got him there. So you've got your extra passengers there, your, whatever you want to do, take movies, have fun, play with all the audio equipment. But he's there. I'll get rid of him for now. Now, you know what I did forget? We can go down here. So here we go. Let's go. I forgot this is one thing I forgot to do. Down here, open her up. So we've got to get rid of this. Oh, the ladder went away, that's okay. So we've got our door, this is obviously where we come through. We've got extra area here to play with. We've got all our few fuel uh, valves over here. We have got behind us a nice little picture of Husey. The APU, we can actually hook it up. Uh, I don't know if it's going to go up now. Yeah, there it is. You can see it down there. So we'll turn that off. So again, this interaction is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And look at the, the, the cable in's done a good job. Not as detailed as some aircraft I've had in previous reviews, but it's there. But again, let's close her up. Oh, there we go. Let's go up and actually finally take this thing off. Now, we've got all the ticks here. The last one is, well, this is the co-pilot at the front, down the back. We'll keep him in there. All right. Pretty sure it was a he, hey? But who cares? Let's just get this little bird up in the air. Little bird, big bird. All right, go line up. Now, wheels. Remember, I, the wombat loves wheels. Needs to get a bit higher because the wombat always likes to go a bit higher. All right, have a look. Look at that. Suspension is brilliant. Love it. Oh, ho. wombat just keeps reviewing all these absolutely awesome aircraft. He is a beauty. Oh, I absolutely love it. The more I actually fly it, and I'm taking it out, probably only on my six or seven flight right now. Again, I love it. And you know when we land, I'll come back on that grass and I'll show you this, uh, this, um, the suspension and the movement in the wheel. It's absolutely brilliant. And I love the detail out there of the tread on it. Beautiful. So again, really good detail there, but I'm a bit disappointed in the wing, in the wing textures, which is something we're seeing all the time because it's right there in front of us. All right, so let's uh, make sure we are lined up and let's get up in the air. And then we'll go for a bit of a cruise. Those engines sound really nice. I have my engine sounds down a little, so obviously it doesn't do it justice, but... There's a wheel going up. Alright, so when it comes to VR, straight away, you already probably see the nose gets in the way quite a bit. We'll take a righty and see how we go. The nose is huge. Now, a big negative. I don't know if you guys can see it, but in VR, I see it. Obviously, 3D. On your pancake screens, you probably don't see it. Don't we love pancake screens? Uh, the nose of the aircraft is out of shape. Now, I don't know if that's on purpose, but it takes away immersion. I'm looking out over that nose now. The left side, there's a bit of a little point coming out. Now, I don't like that. Now, I don't know if that's part of the aircraft, it's really on the aircraft, but I don't care when it comes to immersion and how that helps with VR, it doesn't help at all, it's, it's terrible. But look at this, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The view from this canopy is phenomenal. We're gonna to have to do a couple of laps because this is brilliant and having those engines up there, look, oh my gosh. Again, the, the, the front of that engine actually looks quite well done, but again, the rivets don't look real. I don't like it. 
Uh, but again, have a look at this canopy. Again, look at it at the front. That really destroys. First of all, nose is long. Yep, that's the real thing. But when it comes to VR, it gets in the way of your view. The biggest negative though in the nose is that outer shape. Yep. Look at that view, but coming all the way around. Look at that. That is just phenomenal. Having a look. We can still see everything quite well. I haven't even got it trimmed up at the moment. But again, you know, I can get over the cannon. Look at that. Look at this. Folks, you want this? You got a VR headset? Go grab this thing. Don't even care what the, the rating is. We're going to give the rating straight up. Now, here is my rating at the moment before I land. I should have taken, I normally take it before I get off the ground. At the moment, what is letting us down is the textures of the wings, is the nose, okay? That is what's letting me down at the moment. We have our first rating up on the screen. Some people will go, that's a bit unfair. Let me finish the flight. The biggest win so far is the canopy. I love these engines right next to us. The engine sounds on startup, the smoke, brilliant. All the interaction, I think, I'm gonna have another quick look at it before after we land. And uh, absolutely, look at this, look at this. You know, I didn't give it a fair rating. I am going to probably change what I have rated this aircraft. It's growing on me every minute. I can overlook, I think I can overlook those textures, but I sort of can't. I sort of can't. <laughs> All right, where are we, where are we? Again, we've got no issues sort of coming around here. We know behind those mountains there. We've got no problems looking around. Now, I haven't got the throttles full Full ball, I only had them half, but turning them up, the engines sound quite nice. Alright, but I don't want to go too too quick. You can already see the airfield over there through these beautiful canopy. I just love how there's no structural parts in the way holding up this window. It's just brilliantly done, and I know that's what he wanted. I think when he when he went for this uh, canopy, he wanted nothing in the way. So he must have been ahead of his time going when when we have VR. I have noticed that the aircraft does stop quite well, but look at this panoramic view as we come into land. It's brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely brilliant. All right, all right, hopefully we don't, there's the wheels coming down. Beautiful, love the animation. Come on, Wombat. I know we're coming up pretty, uh, pretty, fast for the wombat with that nose I've already sort of come in a bit shallow but that's okay we'll be fine the wombat finds a way every time the nose is a bit hard but that's all right now those sounds are not immersive at all. They're the built-in sounds you can turn those on. I'm pretty sh off. I'm pretty sure. Don't like them. Have a look at these engines. All right, let's turn around and let's show you. So again, quite. It actually doesn't need much of a runway, which is pretty cool. But you could probably take these if you really wanted to. Got <laughs> a bit of bush flying with this. Uh, flaps up and I'm gonna just try to cruise here a little bit and get because it is pretty rough around here I don't want to go too fast though and just see have a look I'm gonna try to get these for you guys if I can have a look it's the suspension on the aircraft beautiful and that brakes yeah the movement there again felt like moving love that any aircraft that has that is brilliant but again look at those engines it's just beautiful you know this is growing on me again but I'm looking out the on the nose there and that's just destroying me having that little point on the on the left side and I'll have the quality pretty high up well pretty much nearly max or is max on my VR headset so it shouldn't have things like that people will go oh that's a limitation of your headset it's not because I have things on max and I don't get this effect on other aircraft We're just going to park straight in here. Far forward on that landing. My mistake, but that's okay. Normally I'd sit back here. Sorry, I must have hit a button to come forward, but that's okay. That didn't stop 
that approach landing was pretty smooth. All right, so again, the Wombat's going to come up for his final uh, result here. But how good does this look? We never turn the engines off. We let them run. All right. But let's just have a last minute look around us or maybe just admire some scenery from this front window. You're going to be able to do it on this aircraft in VR. You'll be able to just sit right up here. I should have done it right up here. Nice mirror. You can look at yourself and do your makeup. But um, you could sit here and just have a look out the front window in on autopilot. And again, that's just, you could just picture yourself, set up a flight plan around some beautiful scenic areas, right? And just sit here or just line it up to see some good stuff and just sit here and fly it. This would be brilliant. Just having a look at that scenery. So, you know what? Oh, -ho! well, Matt's loving it. So, the, the seat here is, obviously, I don't like that. It gets in the way, but we do have a hole through it, obviously, for vision. Um, but again, those textures, I don't like them. I don't, not, not the textures, I, I guess. Take that back. It's the rivets, they don't look real like I've seen on other aircraft. Like if you remember back on a previous aircraft I just reviewed, it was the L17B Navion. I could see the threading on the nut, on the bolt going through the window. So, all right, let's finish up the review. Let me get on the outside of the aircraft now and finish up. This is a beast of an aircraft. So, finishing up. So. I think we've got the canopy. Canopy is brilliant. Love it. We have instruments. They're good. Not perfect. They're good. Again, older VR headsets, it's a negative. I don't I think they'll struggle. Switches and so forth, not not too many, so you'll get used to those quite quickly. They are quote the, the writing is small. So again, negative for older VR headsets, fine for newer ones. But then we're looking out at all the interactions within. Interactions within are unbelievable. So Everything, nearly everything, is interactable. That is brilliant. Big tick in the wombat meters book. I think I haven't been fair on that. I'm giving a few extra points for it. So I think I'm highly reviewing that. Engine sounds, brilliant. So again, those engines, immersive. Look left, right. When we started them up, the smoke coming out of them, brilliant. Inside, texture's perfect. It's just the rivets. Final rating for the wombat. The Wombat's coming in strong. The Wombat is actually going to rate this. I've, I've popped it up two notches. So we are popping up at 87.5%, which is second from the top. This aircraft, the only thing really led in two things, two things. I don't like the, the nose cone here as I look out to the side. It's got a funny angle to it, All right, a very funny angle to it. And a big, big one, probably the most one, is the rivets on the external wing there. Don't look real. So overall, very good rating. Highly recommend everyone go pick up this Hughes XF11. What I do want you guys to do, suggest aircraft if you want me to fly them. I won't fly airliners. They've got to, uh, airliners are not immersive to me. So just guarantee it, I'm gonna fly it. It's gotta be something that the Wombat will at least enjoy if it wasn't VR, to have a go in VR or enjoy in VR. So everybody, thank you. Wombat out, have a good one. Rocket Wombat will take off now just like the XF11.